morning. So today we go to Boston, one leg to Boston, spend the night in Boston, stop in LA, and then we go back to Seattle, and then we're done for the day. Then the next day we go to Portland. I love the Portland two-day trips that we have here. I love them and then the next day we will do phoenix we have a long little two-day phoenix i have no idea where this trip came from probably because phoenix is actually a base now so i'm probably wondering katie why didn't you pick that base i'll tell you why it's because i couldn't uh, my seniority was not high enough even if i wanted to right now it's a temporary base it could become permanent it's a great sign for the future I honestly feel like Phoenix is a great market. A lot of people live there, a lot of people commute from there from all the other bases. So that's just my two cents. I have a good feeling about it. And then that's it, actually. Especially excited for our Phoenix and our Portland layover. Boston tonight, we're just going to sleep, but it's still part of the life. You know, you don't always get long layovers and I'm actually fine with that. So anywho, probably head out here in the next hour. Oh, there's that little. Yes, this is the start of six days in a row of working. A lot has happened, like the last few weeks um, <laughs> would be just tickle pink if that became a permanent base. It's temporary right now. Another exciting thing that's happened is I am no longer on Reserve days. I no longer have reserve. No more on-call weird calls in the middle of the night to wake up at 3 a.m. March was my last month for this. So even this month, reserve wasn't too bad. But for April, we don't have reserve. And it's crazy. That's all I can say. It's crazy. I'm kind of going for like a mermaid look today. Because why not? Um, Seattle is warming up. La this past weekend was, oh my goodness, chef's kiss. It was sunny. It was like 67. Took a walk with my friend uh, around Green Lake. We love that park there and it was just like, it was the perfect day. And then we went and got tacos and sat outside. It was just such a great weekend. Cherry blossoms at um, University of Washington are starting to bloom, so I want to go see those, actually. Six days, we're going to have lots of fun, so let's go. An Amazon package coming. It's supposed to come tomorrow, but it says it's going to arrive early today. Eight stops away. I really want to wait for it. Should I wait for it? Heading slowly for the car. still like five stops away. Found a good spot. Of course I want to get Starbucks. I didn't want the package to like just sit there but I think it'll be fine. We'll find out tomorrow together. <laughs> Boston. Here's a good old room tour. This is actually a nice hotel, I think, for being an airport hotel. Two bed setup. Ooh, look at the time. Look at that. One, one, one. That is, in fact, the time. But it feels like 12, 11, 10. It feels like 10, 11. Back home. Review here. This is the inside of the hotel, maybe? Let's close that bad boy up. I want to be... Oh, yeah, let's make this colder. Let's make this... Wow, this is an old system. <laughs> flight went great. 4.24 was our flight time, which was pretty fast. Um, Seattle to Boston. That's pretty good. Oh, this picture's really cool. Is this like... I'm like squirrel. Um, looks like they did like a long exposure of planes coming in and out of Boston. Logan Airport. I think that's 
That's how I'm interpreting this right now, but I, I could be wrong. It could be... That's what it looks like, but what was I today? I was up at the front assisting the flight leader. So everything was Gucci. I think I'm going to take a bath because I've been really into baths lately. I just really like them and why not? Um, but my neighbor, I hate when they have this. I don't, I don't really, I don't appreciate the connecting adjoining room. I know for a fact that it's one of my crew members. It's fine. If I didn't know it was her, I would probably be a little stressed. Anyways, down and go to sleep because we don't have the longest rest and I would like to rest. So I will see you in the morning, probably with Dunkin' Donuts in my hand. Right, it's day two, almost ready. There's Dunkin' in Phoenix. Is there Dunkin' in LA? If you live in LA or if you know, let me know. Thanks. Um, today we're on a 7.5. I know I'm not the biggest fan of the 7-5. We call it the 7-5Y. It's really long, one aisle, really long, um, big, big plane. I have a feeling that this is like that. I got this mascara from Japan. Yeah, it says styling mascara and then the rest is in Japanese. If you know Japanese, let me know. <laughs> I also got their eyeliner. I wasn't sure if it was eyeliner because I thought it might have been like a pencil or something. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But it was eyeliner. It's I'm actually wearing it now. Kitty is letting me have. <laughs> Kitty is letting me have it. He is not happy. I'm sorry. I'm now after our first two day trip. So today was day two out of six. Tomorrow will be day three. I have to report at the airport at 4 p.m. But my package is here. Yeah, I thought we could open it together. One of the items is for the apartment. So you know how I have been, you know, getting the apartment together still. I still don't have a TV, which is fine. I just use my laptop for YouTube pretty much. I haven't even put my stuff away yet because I just want to open my package. Basic headphones. I like the bigger ones so that they block out a lot more noise. This is for when I sleep and it's noisy in the hotels or even here at home sometimes, unfortunately. Good ratings and very inexpensive. I also like the 65 hours. But our eye mask, the older I get, the more sleep maintenance we need. Kitty won't stop crying. What? Why is the package like this? I think it's just like vacuum packed. Three days, it should be fully, I guess, the fullest version. It's highest self, if you will. Oh my gatos. And welcome to day three out of six. I am feeling it. Not gonna lie. Um, yesterday was 
a doozy. Looked cute on paper, but of course, you know, sometimes reality will hit ya. So I didn't, I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of realized how long it would be. Our flight from Boston to LA was six hours and 24 minutes. That is, that's a lot, six. Now it's about one and um, like I said, I have to be at the airport at four. So I'm just slowly getting my day together. All right, we're just about ready to go. I have another package. This really cool clothing rack that I got for my apartment and some hangers. So cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Put it in the apartment and then I gotta head out. Okay, right, let's do it again. So we did make it to Portland. Oh, technically Vancouver, Washington. I absolutely love the room. Um, we have one bed today, which I now prefer when I used to not. Quite a nice little sitting area here. Of course, I'll show you the view in the morning, but that is water right there, so that's exciting. And this is our room. Of course, I put the robe on. What's the situation here? Okay. Isn't this like pretty, pretty good stuff there? Okay. Some lasagna that I brought. It's probably thawed out now. And then go to sleep. Oh yeah, and our plane got struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First time. I mean, it's. I knew it would happen eventually. I've heard the stories. Um, but you know, the planes are built really well and they're made for stuff like that so everything obviously went fine and then we landed and we asked the pilots about it and i guess it hit the nose of the plane and sparked back to the wings because our flight attendants in the back swore they saw something they saw the sparks um, she said, I'm actually working with a classmate as well. She's actually from my class during training, so that's pretty cool. Just wind down a bit and we'll talk in the morning. Good morning. I think I'm going to head out and do my usual <laughs> layover thing, which is coffee, of course, and probably find some food and just see what we find. Ready now, I decided on a little place and... I can't remember the coffee shop I went to last time I was here. It was very good, but I can't remember where it was, and I'm wondering if I vlogged that. So, whatever. We're gonna try this new place. I think it's called um, 13 Coins. Not last night, not here last night, but the night before at home, Kitty was. I don't know what I think I don't know if he's trying to get revenge on me or something for being a for being away um, but he was pretty rambunctious through the night um, decided he didn't want me to sleep that much so that was yesterday the lightning strike and the turbulence so yesterday was a lot it didn't have to be but we have a few hours I don't even know what the van I don't even know what the van pickup time is. I should probably look at that. It's probably like three something. All right, so we're just about ready. This whole outfit, except my shoes and purse, is pretty much thrifted. These are actually boy pants that I found in the boy section. And I actually cut them a little bit. I didn't really like the bottoms, but once they get washed too, they're gonna look so cute and be like you know a little frayed at the bottom so these are actually man pants <laughs> this belt i found goodwill and both of these at the goodwills i don't know if i mentioned that i got back into like thrifting because it's actually like really fun and it's a little time consuming but it's really fun actually this elevator is crazy um i actually don't know how cold it is outside i hope it's not too cold Coffee shop 
shop I was just saying that I couldn't remember where it was. Um, I just walked and I found it. That's kind of weird. Because here's the fire. I swear I have a vlog about this. <laughs> flowers and trees and they're just barely green so this is such an interesting time in the season when it's just the very end of winter and spring is just within a few weeks a bunch of these white i think they're pear trees i think i heard someone say Shore Park. It's the first public park in the Pacific Northwest. Seattle. On the plane, I saw Grand Canyon playing uh, Alabama. I told the passenger that that was my school, that was my college I went to. I graduated um, from Grand Canyon in 2016. So we were, and they were rooting for GCU as well. So that was fun. And then we were deplaning and they let me know that they actually lost. So it was kind of sad, but still it was like a cool moment because they were actually rooting. And so was the um, lady next to him. So two strangers, cool moment. So, but kind of sad, but that's an amazing achievement for them. They were not that big when I was in college there. So I'm on my way home now and the bridge has maintenance. Oh, it's going down. I've never seen it like this, so this is a first for me. I've seen it on the other side on my way to work, but never on my way home. And it's um, it's 12.55 a.m. I am exhausted, but I went this way. It has tolls, but I went this way because I wanted to get home faster. And this is what happened. So I think it's a good time to talk now um, before I get home and just pass out. Uh, yesterday was the lightning strike. Today was hail in Salt Lake again. What's going on in Salt Lake? Man, I was almost based there too. I was almost based there. It's cloudy and first it was raining and then the hail started. So then we had to de-ice. So that takes an extra 20 minutes. But it's, we made it safely back to Seattle. Today was day four out of six. I do have my Phoenix trip the next day and I am um, I'm, I'm stressing a little about that, not gonna lie. So I did not think I would be this tired. Oh my goodness. We're moving the bridges down and we're almost home. last night with that bridge tobacco um, at about 1, 1 I feel okay today but they're doing some construction by my house so I had to park like three blocks away and walk. That was the situation here. Thank you Seattle. But at least I found a spot honestly. I have some errands to run right now um, and then I want to get back 
and build my clothing rack in that big box that we brought back before I left on my last trip. So I'm gonna put that together today. But tomorrow's our trip to Phoenix and I don't know if I could ever do this again. So many days in a row. six i'm just ecstatic i'm being a little sarcastic obviously i'm being a little silly but i'm about to leave we're about to leave a little early so i can get starbucks i don't want to get starbucks at the airport today because it's a little bit um more expensive and actually a lot of it and then we're gonna go to salt lake today and then we're gonna go to phoenix and that i am ecstatic about no sarcasm when's the last time i've been in phoenix anyway it's been like a month or two maybe Time is not real to flight attendants, but um, high today, 72, tomorrow, 77, doesn't get better than that, so plans for Phoenix, not sure, we're gonna see. Catching up, yesterday, I, I did too much, I did too much yesterday, I didn't really vlog. I'm actually pretty tired yesterday, and I think I pushed myself a little bit too much. It's gonna be a good day, let's go. I'm trying the new lavender oat milk latte from Starbucks and then I added three pumps of vanilla syrup. Looks pretty good. Lay low. Mmm, that's good. Like, when did lavender become a thing? Like adding lavender to coffee. I think it's been around a bit, but like when, when, when did that start? So we are starting our day now. It looks like a beautiful day. Waiting for a friend to pick me up for coffee slash lunch. And I forgot my sunglasses. And so I go back to the room, no sunglasses. I forgot my sunglasses just all together. Like, what is that? Why, why am I like this? We're in Phoenix. goodness it's so pretty so basically looking at my schedule and did I work seven days in a row technically so late last night oh my goodness I thought I was a night owl with these late releases but I don't know I think 12 is too late for me we made it to the gym I feel way better even though I'm not even done with my workout yet, I feel way better. A two day for some reason can still feel as exhausting as when you finish a three day. So I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, never say never, but I probably won't do it ever again, hopefully. <laughs> Yesterday we were in Phoenix for much of the day and drove around and got some coffee. Ended up getting Chipotle, which was really good. I used to get it like once a month at least, but now it's like I forget about it. I think it's because I don't live near one. It's like kind of out of the way. And the delivery, oh my gosh, delivery charges here are insane. I'm not doing delivery hardly ever, so anywho. <laughs> Seattle thinks, like I said, I'll be going to Phoenix tomorrow. So today I wanted to finish that clothing rack like I was telling you guys. I wanna finish hanging everything, yes. And I was planning on taking you with me to Phoenix 
I wish I could just like teleport my car back and forth, my convertible, so I could just enjoy and soak in the sun and the and the breeze. Seattle will be super nice here really soon. Me, did I already say this? If I already said this, cut it out. But they gave me two Konas for April, so I'm off of 80s. I got two Hawaii's. Wow, you know, but I accidentally dropped one of my Konas like an idiot. <laughs> I accidentally put drop instead of swap, so someone picked that up in like 10 seconds. Okay, here's our progress with the clothing rack. I had the energy to do four pieces of clothing the other day, so now I have to put all of this stuff on there. So let's do it. One, two, three. Hey. She's lovely. Begging. We're out here hiking on this beautiful day. I used to run up this all the time. place to end the vlog with my mom's new puppy here delasco is his name he's so precious thank you for watching this was a crazy week i mean i feel like i always say that but some weeks are just for the books and this was one of them so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it say goodbye on the vlog yeah say goodbye and i hope to see you in our next adventure take care bye yeah, yeah.